I'm at uh, Smart Home Expo 2019 and uh, lighting plays a major role uh, for any homes. Forget about smart homes, even the normal homes also. And we have Mr. Ranjit Karta who tells more about lighting and he's from Veda Lighting. Mr. Ranjit, just tell me what exactly you do as per the lighting is concerned. Uh, how uh, the lighting will help for a smart home? Yeah. Uh so uh, we are lighting design consultants and uh, we do lighting design uh, we, we design uh, the, uh, the lighting for every space uh, be it hospitals uh, hotels uh, resorts homes and all the spaces so uh, i think the uh, see any real estate space needs lighting uh, and like you would design say your carpets and uh, materials Lighting also has to be thought through in detail. Uh, all these years, uh, you just had an electrical consultant probably who just arrange your lights in a 3x3 three three grid. And there you have light. And nobody really thought about uh, lighting beyond illumination. And also the other thing is also the energy consumed. So you also help in terms of save the uh, uh, no, uh, uh, cost on the electricity bills. That's also one part of... Uh, the smart lighting. How do you uh, help uh, the consumers uh, uh, to save the cost? Yeah, see in today's context nobody really talks too much about energy efficiency when it comes to lighting because uh, I don't say that you won't use it but because today uh, already you are using the most efficient light source LEDs. Now uh, when it comes to smart home people want dynamism. See they are not very much bothered but they are going to say 1 watt or 2 watts or whatever water just is. So they want color. So as I said, you know, people have become more sensitive to about the mood creation. Yeah, it's not about just white light. So they want cool color in the morning, they want warmer tones in the evening before they go to bed. Uh, when there is a guest home, they want blue color or magenta color. So And uh, of course, uh, how uh, lighting can uh, um, kind of adapt to your day-to-day uh, moving in the house. So, for example, when you step into your house, you want lights to go on. And also the costing thing, that's what I've been uh, worried about. Like, you know, in terms of smart lighting also cost you more because as if I want to build my house, so I'll also look at my costing also. So, uh, how do you think the costing uh, will change in case if I go for smart? Yeah, so uh, smart homes again, uh, you can, uh, uh, there's a lot of, it's a large segment. Um, like as I was uh, telling somebody else, you have people who buy Maruti cars to Rolls Royce in India. Uh, so similarly you can, uh, again the definition of smart home is also uh, pretty much uh, grey. Uh, so if the, 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 the low hanging fruits are those smart bulbs that you get today in Amazon, you can buy it on Amazon for 1000 rupees, uh, where you just have your basic colour dimming, uh, scene settings you can do in a living room for as low as 10,000 or 15,000 rupees. Uh, two more sophisticated systems for luxury homes where you want to connect your entire um, automation uh, with your multimedia security and giving everything in a single control which can go up to even um, you know 300 rupees a square feet. Um, so you have the entire gamut of products available today. So uh, it's for uh, the customer also to figure out uh, at what space he wants to get in. Uh, now even wireless, you have wireless cameras as well. So uh, so some people value... Uh, so you mean to say that it all depends on what kind of uh, lighting you opt for it, right? And uh, thanks uh, Ranjit Karta for speaking and uh, we'll see that uh, Ranjit Karta will help <laughs> design a lot of uh, houses with smart lighting. Thank you very much. Yeah,